How often do you think about what happened in Istanbul? All the time. I, mean, I don't think you can get away from it. I think it was a miracle what happened in Istanbul. Um, you know, I think it's one of the best ever finals, as they say, and um, it's always going to be brought up uh, for the rest of our lives. Did it change your lives? Yeah, I can't go for a pint in town. I would have <laughs> put the camera phone in my face, yeah. But I was all right before that, but uh, it hasn't, obviously, it's... It is great, but it did change on that type of level, really. I mean, because it meant so much to the people on the streets. I mean, everywhere you go and help, you want to shake your hand, give you a hug. That's uh, the men and women. And, uh, yeah, it did change. And I think it was just it meant so much to people, really, about the place. And people still talk about it now, but the same buzz is about the place now, you know, about the same thing now before. And everyone wants to go through it all again. We experienced it a couple of years ago. And the, the atmosphere and the celebrations that probably people like you don't see what we have with our family and friends when we get back and things like that. I mean, it's, you know, things you'll never forget for the rest of your life. You've seen the reaction of the supporters in the city centre the day after when we went on the, the tour of the bus. I think there was close to, um, you know, half a million or a million people out there and that's how much it means to the people. So I think if we're going, if we go and win it again, I think our lives will change even more than, you know, that's what we want. Um, you know, we want to be remembered um, you know, when we're finished and when we're older, of being good players who are successful.